Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Marsden. We're about to take a walk outside, and I'm about to teach you about permaculture. by the fire pit from my permaculture setup. Right here, I'm about to show you my living situation. We're here at the first permaculture setup in Australia. Follow me. As you can see, permaculture is a way of agriculture through biodiversity. It is the opposite of monoculture living. As you can see, this soil is quite healthy because it represents a forest. There's a rotting log. The rotting log, the fungi takes care of it, and the bugs in this little critters take care of that. Follow me and see the log. As you can see, there's a lot of decaying plant matter. This decaying plant matter creates good soil composition. The wood in here creates fungi. The smaller stuff creates more bacteria in the soil. As you can see, there's a bit of biodiversity even on this tree. More biodiversity equals biosecurity. Biodiversity equals biosecurity. We're here by the waterfront and we're in the South Australian island of Tanzania. This is where permaculture first started. Let me show you around a little bit more. Permaculture first started with me and my graduate student, David Holmgren. We created permaculture as a way of permanent, sustainable agriculture, later into permanent, sustainable way of living. This emerged out of the fear of the dangers of monocrop farming and the modern technologies of modern agriculture. Here is a log that is broken down. These broken down logs, they used good for cultivating mushrooms. Wild mushrooms such as these. Common wild mushrooms grown and cultivated are reishi, turkey tail, and more, such as lion's mane. Water systems are a big part of permaculture. There are canals, swale systems, and other agricultural setups for waterway. Good organic soil is composed of decomposing organic material and carbon. Speaking of permaculture systems. Water fluctuation is a very important thing in permaculture systems. A swale system is a common technique used to hold, store, and clean water naturally using plants and other biotic materials in nature. As you can see in an actual forest, there's different layers. There's the shrub layer, there's the ground cover layer, and there's the tree layer, and then there's the canopy layer, as you can see. Let me explore more with you. The bottom and fungal layer is also very important for decomposing organic material and recycling it back to the earth. Let me show you some more over here. As you can see, these vines make good canopies, but also can take up the trees. Implementing proper canopies can increase your food and add more layers to your food forest. In permaculture, we never think of our access as waste. We think of it as access nutrients able to use for we could... We never think of access waste as actual waste. We think of it as access nutrients able to use for recycling. So as you can see right here, this is our compost pile. We reuse our excess kitchen scraps and materials and waste for compost, so then there's more nutrients for our plants. Let me show you more over here. As you can see, our dog recycled the materials right here. Campfire ash has a lot of carbon in it. It's actually mainly carbon, which is very good for reusing in soil, easily to throw it in the compost to add carbon. Harvesting local timber for heat used properly, such as a space heater or a spaceship burner is actually a lot more efficient than using fossil fuels such as gasoline or petrol 
of petroleum pumped out from the earth. As you can see, asphalt isn't good for irrigating water. It leads a lot more to water runoff and degraded water. Let me show you a better alternative we can use. As an alternative to asphalt, wood chips actually make very good compost material that allow water to seep right through, doesn't allow runoff, and will actually allow plants and material to grow rather than just not allow them to, rather than just allow them to just die. Wood chips are very easy to spread. All you gotta do is just get them around. Once the wood chips are all around, then you got a perfect driveway. Breaking asphalt and impl implementing wood chips will actually make a very more sustainable environment. By not only degrading your rattle one off and just putting water back into the earth, see a little bit of a use of appropriate technology used in our modern civilized area is actually instead of using cars and hiking for yourself, just one person for one person per car, you could take a train, cover much distance, and many people will get transported for one car of use. Follow me for more information about energy efficiency and transportation. Solar panels are an appropriate use of technology. They create energy using the sun. This is using a renewable energy source that will last years on years on years. Almost quite perpetual. Rather than burning carbon emissions, solar panels provide clean energy from non-burning materials. Although they do have to be, although the materials made from solar panels are precious metals mined from far lands. These solar panels create a lot less destruction in the end all be all with the mining of coal and other fossil fuels. These power lines right here show people that are on the grid. On the grid are people that buy energy from the town, usually from burning fossil fuels not such as solar panels or other things. Uh, though you can buy energy from a renewable source. Contact your local energy supplier and see if you can get energy from a renewable source. Me and David Holmgood created Pharmaculture as a result of the destruction of monoculture farming in the modern ways. So we wanted to create a type of agricultural system that would improve soil quality along instead of destroying it.